Hey, how's it going? My name is Matthew. I'm going to be reviewing this coffee maker. It is the Perfect Temp 12 Cup Programmable Thermal Coffee Maker by Cuisinart. It's the DCC 3400C series. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I paid $141.50 Canadian at Hudson's Bay for this coffee maker, but you can get it at Amazon for $126.09 US. I'll use US dollars here because I figure that most of the viewers will be from the US. Uh, it says here from the this screenshot that I took um, that you'd be paying $59.45 for shipping, but I don't think you'd be paying that. If you're not from the US, that's just to send it to Canada. Okay, so now we'll move on to the carafe. So here is the carafe. It looks to be mostly stainless steel to me. Um, it is a 12 cup thermal carafe. It is double wall insulated. So the insulation helps keep the coffee hot, of course. I wasn't sure if I should buy a coffee maker that had a see-through carafe or not but I decided to go with this one. And the see not having it be see-through doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me that I can't see how much coffee is in the pot at all times. Uh, you just kind of get the feel for it, I think. The handle is comfortable. They say it's ergonomical, meaning that it's kind of easier on your body. Uh, so we'll move on here to the lid, open it up. And I'm gonna show you the charcoal water filter there it is that's the charcoal water filter there so helps to keep the water clean i suppose and uh, i'm gonna be adding a glass of water into the reservoir here see i don't like to use the craft for this because i find that it's a little difficult to pour 100 percent of the water from the craft into the reservoir here uh, it kind of hurts my shoulder a little bit or my arm or something i don't know here we have the water filter here. So it's a screen here. So that you can just dump the coffee grounds right into this thing and you don't need to use a paper filter. So you don't need to buy the paper filters, but if you like the paper filters, you still can use them with this coffee maker if you want. And here's the, I think they called this the filter holder. Okay. so. Uh, the coffee filter works pretty well for me, by the way. I don't find that a lot of coffee grounds uh, get through it. Okay, here is the water level indicator window for the reservoir. Uh, as you can see, it is 12 cups. Okay, here is the warming plate, which does get hot and kind of cools down after um, some time automatically, I think. No, from, yeah. Okay, over here we I'm just showing you kind of uh, me putting the craft onto the warming plate and it fits nice and snug. I don't know if that uh, is a concern for a lot of people, but I find that it fits nice and snug and that uh, I like that the feeling that it gives me. Okay, over here is the shower head. Yeah, so this uh, piece up top that with the holes in it is the shower head that of course the hot water pours out of um, not sure if people would want to see that or not but uh, here's what it looks like uh, works well for me i think so let me move on here what do we have here so over here we have uh, the different uh, buttons here see they turn blue when you press them which is pretty cool. I press the um, bold here. That's for a strong cup of coffee. Okay, then we'll move on. Here we have uh, brew is to just start the brew, of course. Um, we have one uh, to four on the right there, that button. That's for if you're brewing a small pot of coffee, the one to four cups. Here we have over on the left, we have clean cart uh, clean. So that will light up uh, red, I believe, when it is time to clean the coffee maker. And then you can press that and the coffee maker will clean itself. I think you might need to add some water to it to help with that. 
Um, I haven't had to use that yet. I've only had the coffee maker for about a month, so I can't really comment on how that works. To be honest, we have the auto on button there that was for uh, automatically brewing coffee. Okay, so we'll move on here. Now this is just to show you uh, that the coffee maker will beep five times when the brewing is finished. So that lets you know that the coffee is ready to go. So I think that's a pretty cool feature because you can just be chilling out or working in the or playing around in another room and then you don't have to uh, play the guessing game as to when the coffee uh, is finished uh, brewing so over here we'll take another look at the buttons so to set the clock here you're gonna want to go ahead and do one of two things you can hold down the minute button as I've done here and then the digits will start flashing and then you can uh, select, of course, hour and minute to set it, um, set the clock. And then after that, you just leave it alone for a couple of seconds. It'll stop, uh, flat, the digits will stop flashing and then it'll be set. Or the second way is to do the exact same thing, but with the hour button. So again, you're just gonna hold down that hour button until the digits flash. Then you're gonna go ahead and just select minute or hour and and or hour to set that clock and then just leave it alone for a couple seconds and then it will set. So um, I know a lot of people, they kind of, um, they really don't even want to bother with setting the clock in their car or on their stove top because they think it'll be complicated. And I was thinking that the same thing might be true for me about this coffee maker, but uh, so I kind of avoided it for a while, but then when I, when I finally read the instruction manual and learned how to do it and then did it for myself i found it to be quite easy i mean it's just really easy so i really like that about this um, so now we'll go ahead and press program now this is for automatic brewing right so that is you would go ahead and uh, set the, the program automatic brewing right uh, go ahead and put some water into the reservoir, put some coffee grounds into the filter, uh, program this up, and then it's going to brew the coffee for you automatically at a future time. So if you can set this the night, set that up the night before, the way I said, and then have it uh, set up so that it'll brew a cup of coffee for you at 7 a.m. the next morning. So, so I just press the program button and then you go ahead and just type the hour and minute buttons to whatever you want to press there. Okay, so, uh, so that's how you would program uh, the automatic uh, filter, uh, sorry, the automatic uh, brewing, and then the auto on button comes on. So that's what the auto on button is all about. It's for the automatic brewing. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and press the tone button and you can see that little microphone icon comes through it with the cross through it. Now that's to turn off the automatic beeping that happens when the coffee is finished. If you don't want to hear that uh, the beeping sound when the coffee is finished, you just go ahead and press that. Okay, so now we're going to move on here. See, once you've um, already programmed the time you want for automatic brewing, if you want it, you can go ahead and uh, turn that on by just pressing the auto on button. And if you decide not to uh, do that, uh, not, you don't want automatic brewing, you just press it again and just to turn it off. So here is the instruction booklet. Um, this might be a little boring for some. I did find it easy to understand. I found the instructions to be quite clear. Um, I didn't have a hard time understanding their instructions. So, um, you know, they get points for this instruction manual. It's not difficult to uh, understand I find and I'm just gonna go through the entire booklet really quick here as boring as it might be but I think that allows people to pause on each page and just give it a read if they're just wanting to know um, more about uh, this coffee maker and just read it for themselves to understand it better okay so we'll go ahead and we're gonna move on now to um, giving it a pour, giving the craft a pour. Here comes some coffee. 
you see it pours pretty nicely, um, but I would say that it's gets a little bit of a splash back too. And here I am enjoying a cup of coffee from this coffee maker. It does taste pretty good, the coffee. I like it. I would give this coffee maker a nine out of 10 rating, a 10 being perfect. Uh, the insulated pot is quite nice. Um, it keeps your coffee warm. I like all of the features that comes with the coffee maker, like being able to program it for automatic brewing, um, have, having a beep when the coffee maker is finished brewing. Uh, I think the coffee maker looks nice. So maybe you're trying to decide between a coffee maker that is uh, cheap and offers very little uh, features, like doesn't offer automatic brewing and doesn't beep when the coffee has finished brewing, but it's inexpensive. Um, or a coffee maker like I have that it's more expensive but offers a lot of features. Um, I think you only live once. I think that if you're serious about your coffee and you drink it every day, uh, you may as well try a um, a more expensive coffee maker that offers a lot of features. I think it, um, the features really do uh, make things easier for you and make for um, a more enjoyable coffee making experience, I would say. So the coffee maker does make a decent tasting cup of coffee. And I think the price is reasonable considering all the cool features you're getting with the coffee maker. I think the, the filter that comes with it with the screen is uh, cool because it'll, it's easier on the environment um, because you don't have to use the paper filters. But I guess one could say that maybe it isn't that much easier on the environment because you really have to rinse off that screen after you're done using it with water. I mean, I can't, I don't know any other way. If you know any other way, uh, you can comment below to uh, clean that screen. So you're not using the paper filters, but you are using more water, I think, because you're cleaning off the screen with water. And if you had paper filters, you wouldn't need to do that. So, but it probably is um, easier on the environment. I did knock one point off of this rating uh, because when you pour it, there is a little bit of uh, splashing going on. A little bit of coffee splashes out of the spout when you pour it, but it's not too bad. Um, also that getting 100% of the coffee out of the carafe is a little difficult. Uh, the coffee kind of likes to stay in the carafe a little bit of it, and you have to really tip the carafe over at a pretty extreme angle to get all of that coffee out of there. Uh, but that might just be something that happens when you have the insulated carafe. Maybe that's just a downside of it, that if you have the insulated carafe, it is a little bit uh, more difficult to pour 100% of the coffee out of there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.